It's T plus three days and it's nearly time for the crew to come home. But before they do, why don't we have a look at some of the events they've been hosting, some of the things they've been doing, and most importantly, in my opinion, some of the food they've been eating over the past 24 hours. Stay tuned everyone, as this is your Inspiration4 update, three days into the mission. Yesterday, we didn't really have much to cover, but today we have some very exciting events to look over. To start off with, the crew had a private conversation with some patients at St. Jude who had the opportunity to ask whatever space-related questions they could think of. Hayley Arsenault was also doing a fantastic job at multitasking. Not only was she upside down relative to the camera and the crew members, she was also answering questions and catching peanut M&Ms from Jared Isaacman at the same time. That floating is... I guys caught that peanut m and We also got to hear from Dr. Cyan Proctor about the meal arrangements on board. Uh, what's your favorite space food? My favorite space food is pizza, which I had yesterday and I'll probably have tonight for dinner also. I'll make sure to link the video down below. I would highly recommend you watch it because the crew got to answer a lot of good questions. That's not all, however, as later on the crew went live onto the SpaceX YouTube channel with a tour of the Dragon capsule and a nice look out of the window. Sadly, as soon as they went live, resilience went into darkness, but you could make out the lights from cities on the planet below. The crew also showed off some of the gizmos and gadgets they had brought up with them, including this portable ultrasound, which they've been using to look into their internal jugular veins as well as their corneas and optic nerves. Cyan's been doing some space art. This piece in particular is the dragon capsule being lifted from Earth by an actual dragon. And to wrap it all up, mission specialist Chris Sembroski played out the event on the ukulele. In the past few hours, we have received some more photos of the cupola, this time with Haley and Jared inside, enjoying the views of the Earth below. And to get prepared for re-entry, Resilience has now lowered itself from a 585 kilometer orbit to a 365 kilometer orbit. And that is all from the crew's last full day in space. Splashdown is scheduled for today, September 18th at 23.06 coordinated universal time, but don't worry, if you miss it, because our final update will be releasing tomorrow, covering everything related to preparation, re-entry, splashdown, and recovery of the Dragon Resilient spacecraft and the Inspiration4 crew. Once again, it is time to thank the citizens of tomorrow who contribute to the show and make it possible. If you want to experience some of the cool perks our members get, why not consider heading over to youtube.com forward slash tmro forward slash join, or by clicking the join button below. There is only one more update to go and that will be coming tomorrow to cover the splashdown of Inspiration4. And to ensure that you don't miss it, why not subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow and goodbye.